Pre-workout supplements have gained significant attraction in the fitness industry, often publicized as essential for maximizing workout effectiveness. However, the necessity of the supplements is subject to debate. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking a deeper dive into pre-workout. So let's do this. Hello and welcome to a brand new video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jordan Vasilio. I mainly create fitness content, travel content, and self-development content. If this sounds like the channel for you, hit the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button, and now we'll dive into pre-workout. And I'm just curious to hear everyone's thoughts on pre-workout. So drop a comment below and let me know if you think it's essential or not. First things first, what is pre-workout? Pre-workouts are a multi-ingredient sports nutrition supplement that are designed to enhance exercise athletic performance. It can have different ingredients, but the general goal of pre-workout supplements are to boost energy, increase strength and endurance, and reduce post-exercise muscle soreness. Okay, so now that you know what pre-workout is, I'll now give you the different types of pre-workout. So first things first, you have the standard pre-workout. With standard pre-workout, it's what most people refer to when they say pre-workout. So the standard pre-workout has a triple pull focus and a blend of ingredients that enhance energy levels, improve your mental focus, and increase your muscle protein synthesis. So the next pre-workout is the non-stim pre-workout. So with the non-stim pre-workout, it has all the common ingredients as a standard pre-workout, just minus the caffeine. Instead, it has additional ergogenic ingredients like betaine, glycerol, taurine, nootropics, and finally L-tyrosine, which would enhance energy levels while improving focus, endurance, and recovery. So the next type of pre-workout is high stim pre-workouts. If you don't like the idea of caffeine-free pre-workouts, you could go the complete opposite direction and have a high stim pre-workout. High stim pre-workouts have extra caffeine to keep you going. So while a standard pre-workout has 200 milligrams of caffeine a serving, a high stim pre-workout has 400 milligrams of caffeine per serving. So the next pre-workout pre-workout is pre-workout for muscle growth. The best pre-workout for muscle gain have the foundational ingredients of standard pre-workout with additional ingredients that promote muscle growth. So in addition to caffeine, some of the ingredients may contain creatine and L-carnitine. And the final type of pre-workout is pre-workout for pumps. Rather than focusing solely on your energy levels, a pump pre-workout increases your blood flow in your blood vessels to give you that swell look and feel. They do this through one or more nitrate oxide agents. For example, beetroot extract, l citrulline betaine are just a few I can list off the top of my head. They could increase your blood flow and improve your athletic performance. So those are the different types of pre-workout. Now I'm going to give you a list of ingredients and their purpose. So first things first is caffeine and this increases energy, alertness and focus. Next up is creatine and this enhances ATP production, providing quick energy for short bursts and intense activity and it improves your strength, power and recovery. Next up is beta alanine and this helps buffer lactic acid buildup, reducing muscle fatigue and improving endurance. Beta alanine is also the ingredient that gives some people the tingles, which I kind of like. The next ingredients is a combination of L-arginine and citrulline malate, and they boost nitric oxide production, which leads to increased blood flows, and this improves the nutrient delivery to your muscles, increasing the pump. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym, or the most satisfying feeling you can get in the gym, is the pump. So the next ingredients are branch chain amino acids, which are BCAAs for short. BCAAs support muscle protein synthesis and also reduces muscle breakdown during exercise. And BCAAs also help in recovery and help you preserve muscle. And finally, electrolytes, which help replenish the minerals which are sweat out during your workout. And they also help to maintain hydration and prevent muscle cramps. This is just a list of a few essential ingredients that are in some pre-workout. Don't get me wrong, not all pre-workouts are the same. That there are so many pre-workouts out there on the market, a lot of the companies add additional ingredients or vitamins. For example, one company might really like the tingles and provide extra beta alanine. Whereas on the other hand, one company might want to give you extra caffeine and increase your blood flow. So there are so many different combinations out there. And also you got to do a lot of research and trial and error until you find your perfect pre-workout. Those are the ingredients. Now I'm going to give you a few pros and a few cons. We'll start with the cons. So my first con is that it could provide overstimulation. That a lot of pre-workouts have caffeine and in high doses, this could provide you with some jitters, anxiety, or prevent you from sleeping. Pre-workout may interfere with your sleep depending on the time you take it, especially if it's close to bedtime. My next con is that there could be a dependence and a tolerance, meaning that you'll need to take more to feel the effects of your pre-workout. This could potentially lead to a dependency on the pre-workout 
to raise your energy levels. But we need money to buy crack. My next con is that pre-workout is expensive, but if you're using code Jord at checkout on Muscle Nation, you can save yourself 10%. And my final con is that pre-workout can mask your fatigue. This could potentially lead individuals to overexert themselves as they don't know the actual level of tiredness. So those are my cons. Now I'm going to get into the pros. Pre-workout could increase your energy levels. So that pre-workout have high levels of caffeine. This could give you a quick boost in energy. Pre-workout can improve your endurance. So some pre-workouts have ingredients like beta alamine, which will help reduce your fatigue and improve your endurance, which means you can work out for a longer period of time. My next point is that it enhances your focus and concentration. Some ingredients like caffeine and certain amino acids do have some benefits in improving your mental focus. This will help you stay concentrated during an intense workout. My next pro is that it increases your blood flow. So some pre-workouts contain L-citrulline and nitric oxide boosters, which will help improve blood flow to muscles. Pre-workout could help speed up recovery. So some pre-workout ingredients like BCAAs could help reduce muscle soreness and also improve muscle recovery after a workout. My next pro is that pre-workout can improve your mood and your motivation. By buying yourself a pre-workout, this will improve your motivation because you bought this specific product to help you train. And also that most pre-workouts I've personally come across taste really nice. This could also add to your motivation. And my final pro is the convenience. It's so easy just to buy yourself a tub and just open it up put a scoop into your drink of water and sip on it during a workout. To be honest, I don't think there's more efficient, tastier and convenient way to boost your energy before a workout. Okay, so those are my pros and cons. Now I'm gonna get into the important thing. Is pre-workout essential? So pre-workout could help with performance in the gym and recovery after a workout but they are not essential. So it is far more important to prioritize a healthy, balanced diet, getting enough food throughout the day and getting enough sleep in the night. If you already do these things and you're on an extra boost before your gym session, there's no harm in taking pre-workout for most people. The way I personally use my pre-workout is, I use it once a week and this is on my Saturday session. I normally train five times a week, but however, I don't really want to get into the habit of taking it every single day. So that I take it on the weekend, it gives me extra motivation to train on the weekend and gives me something to look forward to on the weekend too, which is really exciting if you have a really tasty pre-workout like I do now. And it also teaches me a level of discipline knowing I could only have this on this specific day. So in my opinion, pre-workout isn't essential, but it's a nice item to have in your cupboard full of supplements as it's very useful when you use it. Can use it every single day, but I don't necessarily recommend it as it will get too expensive and you'll become too reliant on it. So the pre-workouts I'm currently alternating between right now is Destiny Cream and Soda flavor and Legacy Sour Watermelon flavor. This is standard pre-workout with a 150 milligrams of caffeine and this is highest in with 300 milligrams of caffeine my preferred choice if you want to check out the supplements at muscle nation you can use code jord at checkout to get yourself 10 percent off but anyways if you've made it to the end of this video i really appreciate you hit the thumbs up button if you find this video beneficial don't forget to follow me on instagram i'm very active on that platform and while you're at it don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hopefully i'll see you in the next video so until next time peace Yeah, yeah. yeah.